Cuba has long been acquainted with natural disasters, coming in contact with an array of calamities, ranging from hurricanes, earthquakes, torrential rains that cause mudslides and flooding, to even the occasional volcanic eruption. Because of Cuba's location and size, an island country located in the Caribbean, the government has prioritized disaster management and implemented an extensive risk reduction program. One of the earliest natural disasters that affected Cuba was Hurricane Flora in 1963. Being one of the five deadliest hurricanes in Atlantic history, Flora was responsible for 7,000 deaths between Cuba and Haiti. Since then, Cuba has developed a stronger disaster management system every decade. Cuba's success in, sa in saving lives amidst natural disasters reflects joint efforts of the civil defense, meteorologists, and public administrators who assign high priority to the value of human life. Jose Rubiera, the director of Center of Forecasts, claims that Cuba's civil defense, forecasting system, and official support for hurricane preparation have done a great deal to lessen the toll natural disasters have done on their country. Cuba's civil defense system is set up with a series of ranked positions. The head of the system is the president of the Council of State. Below him is the vice president of the Council of State, and below that is the national headquarters of the civil defense, which guides numerous different representatives. Through the national headquarters is a multi-hazard risk assessment group, which controls management centers for risk reduction. The management centers for risk reduction are the provincial government, municipal government, and defensive zones. This allows the civil defense system to maintain structure and organization on all territories in the country and on all levels of government and institutions. Cuba also has the cooperation of the Army and the Ministry of Interior, who are actively involved in the local governments during disasters. One major component of the civil defense system is Cuba's early warning systems, or the EWS. This system has proved to be extremely effective through, this, through its main elements, which include the organization's capability to detect and monitor certain threats, decision-making authorities at each level who receive the information of the potential threat, the mass media and social organizations which disseminate the information about the threat and the decisions made, and the population who receive the information and respond accordingly. Although the civil defense system in Cuba has reduced the number of deaths considerably, the amount of physical damage by natural disasters is still very high. The economy, already in trouble since the 90s, is suffering from the gathering cost of facing a hurricane or two every year. All these features of Cuba's disaster management program are direct results of the gains of the Cuban Revolution, which has created one of the most socially conscious, educated, and politically organized and mobilized people in the world.